If we're working on a large table in which there are more rows or columns than can be seen on the screen at once, and we have to scroll to see everything, the freeze panes tool is useful. When it's used, the headers of rows or columns are constantly visible, even when you scroll down the page. In this example, the table contains sales values of 159 products from a 24-month period. When scrolling down the table, the headers of the months disappear off the screen. To freeze the column headers, select the row under the headers. Then, under the View tab, click Freeze Panes and select Freeze Panes from the drop-down menu. Now, when you click anywhere in the sheet, you can see that a horizontal line has appeared between rows 4 and 5. Then if we scroll down, the lines below the 4s will hide under this row and the column headers will be visible all the time. Please note that when working on tables like this, it's easy to forget about the hidden part and think that the table starts with product 100 for example. The horizontal line, or the discontinuity of the numbering, is hopefully enough to remind you. This doesn't work when it comes to horizontal table scrolling though. If we scroll to the right, the names of the products are hidden and it's not always obvious which product was first in the table. When we want to freeze a column, we go about it in a similar way. But first, let's unfreeze the panes. Now select the first column to the right of the column containing the row labels and select the freeze panes option like before. This time we can scroll our table to the right and the row labels will always be visible. But again, you need to remember where you are when scrolling down. Just freezing the row with the column headers is used for tables that contain many rows, but all of the columns fit on the screen. Freezing only the column with the row labels is used for tables with many columns, but all the rows fit on the screen. In the case of our table, we have both more rows and columns than can be shown on the screen at any one time, so it would be very convenient to freeze both the rows and the columns. To do this, I will start by unfreezing the panes from the last example to go back to the original table. Then I'll select the cell in the first row under the column headings and in the first column to the right of the row labels. In other words, the first cell containing a piece of data. Then select the same freeze panes as we used in the other examples. Now, no matter where we scroll, all the headers and labels are visible. We can also divide the view into either two or four parts, so we can view different parts of the same sheet side by side. We can do this by clicking the split command under the view tab. Before we use the split command, we'll first unfreeze the panes. If a column or row is selected at the moment of splitting, the window will be divided into two parts. If you want to divide it into four parts, choose a cell with data from inside the table. The borders of the split can easily be moved by left-clicking, holding, and dragging them. The view in each part can be moved according to your preferences. An example where this tool is useful is when comparing rows or columns located far away from each other. For example, simultaneously analysing the data from January and December, or the sales of a product 7 with a product 107. The worksheet remains as one continuous sheet, and the data entered into one of its sections will also be visible in its other sections. To disable the division, click on Split located under the View tab, or move the borders of the split to the edge of the window. Even if this Excel tool doesn't seem useful to you at first, it's worth remembering how to disable it since there is a possibility that one of your co-workers, for example, sends you a file with it already enabled. It was precisely calculated that adding this page to favourites in your browser increases the chance that you become an Excel expert by 53%.